Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Crawford. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon in one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Hook lands. That looks like Woodley circling now towards the left. Takedown defense holds up. Nice straight right lands. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Trading huge shot. Fighter lands a kick now. Let's go, keep pushing forward. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Wood. Straight punch is good. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. Not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Nice. Punch there. Both guys appeared to land there. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Let's work, guys. Come on. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. A slick transition. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Amount. Making all these shots count. Whoa! Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC to try to get a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going there. Nice, nicely done. Under a minute to go. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that starts. 
flips that left hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, missed on that one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, single power timeout. 15 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. And now some separation. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Gotta think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was free back. Cash. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate and it was every, every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Nice close of land there by Tyron Woodley. He's such a good athlete, DC, that even think he's in striking range, he absolutely is. He landed a good uppercut there. No more single punches. Give me punches and punches. Man, how good is this takedown defense? Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. We're going in the fight. That hook was crazy. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, it looks like Woodley's got it. Oh, he's wobbled now. Slips. Big elbow there, man. Just misses with the jab there. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Wood. Three minutes to go now. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put yeah. his opponent on wobbly legs. Don't stop. Keep going. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he passed. Back and forth we go. These two guys have traced. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, big left hook there. Whitley goes in for the takedown now, and he's able to get it. So a nice entry and a wise move given how the things were playing out on the feet. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Great shot from the top position. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point 
with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills and it's showing right now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there. And He's brutalized him with the ground and pound. This fight is close to being done. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah. Well, looks like Woodley's going for a choke here. Ooh, it's tight. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flew. He did a great job of beating the guard. He's side. He's up. What's the mission defense? He's to work. He needs to work. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Third and final round. Oh, nice hook by Wood. And follows up with another one. It got checked. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on it. Oh, here we go. Before we go. Now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ, game plan, and it's working. Takedown defense is there. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking. That pass by the bottom fighter. All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back and forth. It's been so close. I would not want to be sitting at the judges' table right now. I don't know who's winning this fight. And there you go, again, half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Oh, he's landed a high number. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Straight right, he misses. Missed with that attempt. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Uh, 
About two minutes here to go in round three. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. And that one certainly found the target. Punch got blocked there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his attack very bad. Not a fan sitting down! Body shot. He's cut. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage. Oh! That comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Woodley's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Judges scorecards, tremendous back and forth affair tonight. The official decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Robert Malone! All right, so a dominant performance for the more well-rounded fighter here tonight. Really cruises to a decision victory, as you heard from Bruce Buffer there, and it's one that he can build upon for sure. And he knew that if he was able to stay upright, he knew that if he was able to take this fight where he needed to be, he would be the guy getting his hand raised. That's exactly what he did, and he earns a massive decision.